fourth of my planted tank build series. If you're not familiar with the series or if you're new here, in part one I showed you how I built the aquarium. In part two, I showed you how I built the aquarium stand. And in part three, I showed you all of the products that I put on the aquarium and we set it up. I also gave you guys some hints as to some do-it-yourself projects that will be replacing a lot of the products on the tank. Now in part four, today's video, we're going to escape the tank, we're going to plant the tank, and we're going to stock the tank. This is what I'm most excited about. As you guys can remember, I haven't set up a plant the tank in about 10 years. So not only am I excited, I took the opportunity of setting up this planted aquarium to try out a whole bunch of different things. Now before we move any further, I first want to state the following. This video is going to take you from four months ago when the tank was set up until today. I'm going to bring you along my journey and how I set everything up and all the tanks growing and so forth. This isn't going to be a video on maintenance or how I take care of the tank or dosing schedules or anything like that. This is just going to be pretty much the story of four months ago up until today. Let's start where we left off last week. With the aquarium now on the stand and all the equipment set up, the next thing I wanted to do was install a background onto this aquarium. I decided to go with a frosted window. I got this from Amazon for about $14, and it's six and a half feet long. Now that $14 for this little bit of window film might not sound like a lot, but I've already used it on three aquariums and got a whole lot left. But why use a frosted window film in the first place? Why not use a solid color, for example? Well, solid colors tend to give a stop at the back of the aquarium. For example, when you're looking at the aquarium, if you see a solid color, you know the tank ends there. But with these frosted films, they're somewhat translucent, giving the illusion of more depth to the aquarium, but also serving to sort of hide some of the cords behind the aquarium as well. To install one of these is really simple. Clean the back of the aquarium really well so there's no debris. Then wet it down completely, peel off the protective tape from the window film, which is going to expose a bit of a tacky surface, and then apply that to the back of the tent using a card or some sort of a straight hard edge to squeegee out all the air bubbles in water. Within 24 hours, the water will evaporate and the background will be set in place. Almost permanently, really. Unless you decide to peel it off, and then you can and change colors. Now we move on to the soil. And as mentioned 